So after flying a DJI drone for a while, it occurred to me that the reviewers that are reviewing this product, most of whom are from North America, are not telling you everything. And if you watch this video, you could potentially save yourself from making a $1,500 mistake like I did. What are we talking about here? Primarily we're talking about range. So in this video, I'm gonna primarily be looking at the DJI Phantom 4, the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Air, and the DJI Spark. And there are three different communication protocols listed on the DJI website that these three drones use. FCC, CE, and SRRC. So first of all, what the hell is this? What are these things? The specs are all on the DJI website there, but you have to wonder, what is it? What does it mean? I don't understand. Uh, and I'm not the only one who didn't understand. <laughs> have a look at this. Thanks, DTK, I hope I get a response soon. Even Google doesn't seem to have an answer, which is odd. Big difference having a 500 meter range to a two kilometer range. And that was a screenshot from a forum thread, uh, you know, somebody asking the question, what the hell's the difference between FCC, CE, and SRRC? So let's define these, because after some Google searching, I finally got the answer. What's the difference between FCC and CE for Electronic Product Component Certification? Jeff Klinger, Director of EMC Engineering. FCC certification is required for frequency devices, radio frequency devices in the United States. It sets limits on intentional and unintentional electromagnetic radiation to protect the electromagnetic spectrum. CE is a compliance scheme imposed by Europe. It also has requirements for the protection of the electromagnetic spectrum, but the requirements include other aspects of the protection of the consumer and in some cases the environment and a couple of links to explain. Now, if you're like me and you're just flying a drone, listen, don't, don't feel like that all go, has to go over your head. Um, you don't have to understand electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic magnetic spectrum. I mean, this is scientific terms. What it primarily relates to with the DJI drone is the DJI drone's effective range. Um, let's move on to the next reply to this question, and this is from Cora. Keith Proctor, electrical engineer. FCC certification is an American standard that deals strictly with electromagnetic interference, both emission and reception, and nothing about safety other than perhaps ionizing radiation limits. Uh, the equivalent European would be EN50081 and related. FCC is about protecting spectrum for wireless devices and limiting radio frequency between devices. CE marks are oriented and more equivalent in UL or CSA or any national recognized testing laboratory marks. And David Fred follows up, 38 years in telecom technician, instructor, senior manager, and the others have covered it, da 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 da. So FCC stands for Federal Communications Commission. And from everything that I've read from different forum posts, FCC is the protocol that your drone will fly in the United States. Now the thing is, most of the people who, who watch English language speaking videos, such as this one, on YouTube are gonna be from the United States. But guess what? You are not the only ones in the world who speak English. And there are people around the rest of the world who are not going to be using FCC protocol and this video is primarily for those people. So CE, so I believe CE stands for Compliance Europe. It is the protocol that is obviously applies to Europe but probably applies to the rest of the world too because uh, from what I understand down in Australia and New Zealand where I am, uh, CE is the protocol by which uh, DJI drones will fly. And you have to understand, well, what the hell is SRRC? Well, SRRC is what they use in China. SRRC is State Radio Regulatory Commission. And you may be asking to yourself, why is China special and different? Why does China get their own protocol? Well, guess what? DJI is a Chinese company based in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. This is actually where my wife is from. I bet some of you guys didn't realize that, did you? DJI, DJI is a Chinese company. Okay, so now that you guys have a basic grasp on FCC, CE, and SRRC, let's have a look at the DJI website. Now these images are straight from the DJI website as it relates to each one of these drones. We're gonna look at the Phantom 4, the Spark, the Mavic Pro, 
and the Mavic Air. So there's a couple of things we want to watch out for. We want to have a look at which protocol is probably going to apply to you. And this is going to be whether you live in North America or you live outside of North America. We also want to have a look at uh, is it going to be using 2.4 gigahertz or 5.8 gigahertz in terms of its broadcast. Now my understanding of the, the difference between these two is that 5.8 gigahertz is primarily used in the city where there is more electromagnetic interference with um, Wi-Fi routers and broadband and, and wireless internet and 2.4 gigahertz is going to be a protocol that is more used in rural locations. I do know this from personal experience of having fly, flown my spark around New Zealand in both urban areas and rural areas. Uh, in rural areas uh, it tends to operate far better on 2.4 gigahertz and it will basically default to 5.8 gigahertz uh, within the city centre and around crowded areas. So if range is a huge issue for you, which it is for me, uh, this is the part in the video when you're going to really have to pay attention because this is going to have a huge impact on what drone you buy. The DJI Phantom 4. Operating frequency of 2.4 to 2.483 gigahertz. So that one doesn't even appear to have 5.8 gigahertz at all. Maximum transmission distance. FCC is 3.1 miles, 5 kilometers. CE, 2.2 miles, 3.5 kilometers. Now it's important to just bear in mind here that when DJI advertises these products, despite being a Chinese company, you know, when they're, when they're advertising them to an English audience with their, you know, English language website, they are going to advertise to basically the North American audience. But of course not everybody is from North America, so these distances are not necessarily going to be applicable to you. The DJI Mavic Pro. Operating frequency 2.4 GHz to 2.483 GHz. Transmission distance FCC. 4.3 miles, 7 kilometers, CE 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, SRRC 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, MIC 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers. So you can kind of tell right there that if you're expecting to get 7 kilometers and you're not using FCC and you're suddenly, you might suddenly find you only get 4 kilometers. Mavic Air. So Mavic Air uses 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Maximum transmission distance, FCC 4,000 meters, CE 2,000 meters, SRRC 2,000 meters, MIC 2,000 meters. And 5.8 gigahertz, FCC 4,000 meters, CE 500 meters, SRRC 2,500 meters. And after having owned the Spark for a wee while now, this is really what has me worried about the idea of buying a Mavic Air drone here in New Zealand. I mean, look at the enormous difference. FCC 4,000 meters on 5.8 gigahertz, and CE 500 meters on 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 5.8 gigahertz. But wait, we're not finished yet. Let's have a look at the DJI Spark, which is the drone that I have. All right, DJI Spark has a operating frequency of 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. Transmission distance: FCC 1.2 miles, two kilometers, or CE point. 3 miles, 500 meters, and that's just FCC there. SRRC, SRRC 0.3 miles, 500 meters, MIC 0.3 miles, 500 meters. Going up to 5.8 gigahertz, FCC 1.2 miles, 2 kilometers, CE 0.18 miles, 300 meters. SRRC 0.7 miles, 1.2 kilometers. So right there you can see with the spark that using CE protocol, i.e. outside of the United States, you're getting a maximum distance of 300 or 500 meters based on whether you're using 2.4 or 5.8 gigahertz. Wow, wow. And this is how I really got caught out and made essentially a $1,500 mistake. You only get a fraction of what is advertised. So I hope that all wraps it up. I hope that explains everything. You know, this was a real point of contention for me, trying to figure out why the hell is my Spark not getting the two kilometers advertised, you know, as it was advertised. And it's, I think it's a real point of, you know, tripping people up and, and people are just gonna buy these drones and not really realize, because they haven't read the fine print, of what these drones are really capable of based on what flight protocol, protocol they're using. 
It's a perfect example of what happens when you have certain things that apply only to specific people in the world, i.e. North Americans, and then the rest of the world, we are different. A little bit like how the Americans are using Imperial and the rest of the world has moved on to metric. America, it's not in the too hard basket. New Zealand changed the metric in 1976. All right, that wraps it up. I know this video will be a bit boring, but it's really important to know, and I think some of you guys will potentially save yourselves from making a huge monetary mistake by buying the wrong drone based on your expectations on how far it's gonna fly. If you found the video helpful, uh, you know, educational, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and um, stay tuned to this channel for um, more tech review videos and travel vlogs.